Nadu is asking, how do you try convincing the business to invest mm. in automation, especially when it delays the product delivery and is seen as an overall burden? And it seems mm. it seems related to that last question because when when the code base is massive and there's yeah. risk everywhere, quite what I don't know if you've seen this, but what I've seen is there's this pressure to get just to just do stuff. And mm. people are often put in a situation where we'd like to do some automation, but there's no time to do to do any automation. <laughs> and it's like a chicken yeah. and egg. So how do you yeah. how do you convince folks to make that investment? Yeah. So I was I was on a similar so I'll I'll just answer it with my um experience because um when I was first brought in at news, so the um the first project that I was part of, they didn't had any um I mean they have like test automation, but it's all really done on the unit level. Um they don't have, you know, that um, automated UI testing. They don't have any integration tests, mm -hmm. and um, it it was it was delaying the project in the sense that it would take them weeks to deploy, mm. you know, like like some features. So um, when I came in, um, it was really sort of explaining to them what are the benefits of test automation. Like it might have a high, um, yeah. Uh, sorry. All right, you go upstairs. Um, sorry. Uh, let me <laughs> no, just. No need meet. to apologize. <laughs> no need to apologize. Okay, folks. It's just me and you for the time. Sorry. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm back. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so yeah. So explain to them what are the benefits. Um. And don't just provide them with you know just talk like show them actual proof. Because if you just talk and talk about the benefits, but then you're not actually showing or you're not like doing some like POC or you're, you're, you're not showing them data, then um, it's, it's, it's very difficult to get them on board because, you know, to them, it's like, oh, we're, we're, we're spending some time, you know, not releasing new features because we have to do this. But then you have to say to them that, okay, in the short term, it might be, time consuming but then in the long term it would help us you know release quicker and this was actually true in my experience because when we started um having a proper test automation in, in in place um there were days at most that we were releasing four times a day so mm, compare cool. that with um like once or twice a week and then on average we were releasing you know two um two to three times a day maximum four Mm -hmm. So to me, that just shows what the benefits are. So just just explain to them and you don't have to be um, like, just be nice and explain to them that, you know, these are the benefits. And then um, maybe you can also show them um, some data because I, I was actually on a um, on a talk last week. And it was um, hosted by um, by Angie Jones, and she was showing like the data from, um, <laughs> like the data from, like the different brands that you know took her survey, and basically um, like those are like really high performing teams, and they have automation um, at um, at its center, and mm -hmm. the um, the most common team is like. Um, everyone's doing it, you know, even the developers are um, are like on board with it. So maybe if you show them um, that talk or like that, you know, that um, that um, survey, then that might also help.